Hello everyone! In this tutorial I will show you how to make a responsive footer using Bootstrap 3 CSS. This tutorial is for beginners so I will explain things in detail. This section above is the footer that I will be showing you how to make. The section below is my code. First of all, within the head section of your HTML document, Make sure to include a link to Bootstrap CSS, your own style sheet, Font Awesome CSS if you want to include the social media icons, and Google Web Fonts. I'm using Open Sans font in my example. You can find the link for Bootstrap CSS by going to getbootstrap.com slash getting dash started. You can either download it to your project or copy the CSS link under Bootstrap CDN. For Font Awesome, you can search Google for Font Awesome CDN, download it to your project from fontawesome.io, or enter your email address at the Font Awesome website to have a link emailed to you. For Google Web Fonts, you can go to fonts.google.com. In the body tag, I've set the font to Open Sans. I'm using mostly inline CSS because it's easier for the purposes of this tutorial. On the next line, I've created a container where my page content will be located. If I scroll up on the example, you can see this in the section above. Now we are starting the HTML code for our footer. I've given it a padding top of 20 pixels, which is the space above the child elements and below the margin. Position is set to relative with the bottom set to zero so that the footer will sit on the bottom of the page. I've set a top border of one pixel with a solid line using the hex value for a shade of dark blue. This creates that line along the top that separates our footer from the rest of our content. Next I am creating a bootstrap grid. I created a container for my grid. Bootstrap grids should be in a container for proper alignment. You may refer to Bootstrap's documentation on Bootstrap Grids for more information or view my tutorial on Bootstrap Grid System. Bootstrap Grids span across 12 columns, so I will create 4 columns that span across 3 column sections within the grid. Next, I will create a row. I can do this by creating 4 separate divs, each with a class of col-md-3. This class creates a column that spans across three bootstrap grid sections on medium and large devices. The first thing that I want to create in my first column is a heading called Site Navigation. But I only want this heading to show up on small devices. I want this heading to show up when our columns are stacked. Let me show you an example. To hide this element on medium and large devices, I've used the bootstrap classes of hidden-md and hidden-lg. The style that I gave this first heading is a margin top of 0 pixels, a margin bottom of 15 pixels, a color for the text of dark blue, a font size of 20 pixels. Text transform is set to uppercase so that all of the letters will be capitalized. And letter spacing is set to 2 pixels because it looks nice. Next I created an unordered list with a list style set to none because I don't want bullet points and margin bottom is set to 0 pixels because I don't want space between the links of this list and the next when they are stacked. The next section is my second column with the same class of col-md-3. The unordered list with the list items and the names of our pages wrapped in anchor tags. The third section is the same as the two previous sections. You could copy and paste the first section starting with col-md-3 a couple of times instead of typing it all out. Make sure that all of your divs are closed. Underneath our first three columns which contain our links, 
I have created a horizontal line that only appears on small devices. It is hidden on medium and large devices. Now we have our fourth and final column with the class of COL-MD-3. Within this column, I have another heading called Contact Us, which has similar style to the one we discussed before. Underneath Contact Us, I have an Email Us with a clickable email link. Then I have Call Us with a clickable phone number. This works on mobile phones. Next, I have made another heading with a similar CSS to our previous heading, except slightly different spacing for the margins. These are the social media buttons. They are from Font Awesome, so they use Font Awesome classes for style. They also have some style from our main Dot CSS style sheet, which I will show you now. When you hover over the social media icons, they transform to a slightly larger size. The duration of the transformation effect is 0.5 seconds. These CSS codes are changing the color of the buttons on hover. So when you put your cursor over a button, the button will appear with the listed color. Thank you for watching this tutorial on Bootstrap 3 CSS Responsive Footer Design. If you have questions, please leave me a comment and I will try to help you. Please subscribe to my channel, Bootstrap CSS Girl.